Google has implemented a new feature with Google Classroom. And now guardians have the ability to receive email summaries of things that are happening in Google Classroom. It's important to note, however, you uh, parents and guardians will not have access to Google Classroom itself. It's just an email that's sent to you, uh, letting you know what's happening uh, in the class uh, as, as time progresses. If your teacher decides to turn on uh, guardian email summaries, you'll actually eventually receive an email from Google Classroom and you'll note that the email address will be no reply at classroom.google.com and in the body of the email it will let you decide whether or not you want to start accepting emails from Google Classroom letting you know what is happening uh, with your student. Once you hit that blue select button or accept button, you have the ability then to determine how frequently you want to receive said emails. Your choices are either a daily option or a weekly option or a no summary at all. Uh, another recommendation is to make sure you actually choose the right time zone, in this case the Eastern time zone, and that way you'll be able to receive emails at the appropriate time. Once you do this, depending on what you've selected, you'll then start receiving emails either once a, week, oh, once a week or daily. If your student is enrolled in multiple classes in Google Classroom, you'll actually receive one email summary for all classes at that time. And so uh, this is just an example of what it would look like. Again, the email address coming from Classroom will always be no reply at classroom.google.com. And up at the top, it'll let you know um, what's not been done, meaning it's been late or the student actually didn't do it for uh, whatever reason it might be. Um, you'll also see that if a, a teacher has already pre-populated some assignments, you'll also see what's coming up. And then underneath that will be a summary based on each class. Uh, so in this case, you see a demo class and anything that has um, happened in that class will show up. What you will not see is you will actually not see actual links to documents, student work, or what the student earned in terms of a grade. It will only let you know what uh, has been uh, posted in terms of the assignments, uh, as well as any announcements the teacher has made in classroom. But again, you will not actually physically see student work uh, and you won't see other students work. You'll only see the student of your own uh, son or daughter. <clears throat> you also have the ability to change your settings. So if you decide, you know what, I chose daily. I don't want to receive one every day now. Um, you can then come to the bottom of any of the emails coming from Google Classroom where it says settings, check that off and you can change your, your setting. You also have the ability to unsubscribe if you feel like, you know what, I don't feel like I need this anymore uh, for my son or daughter. And then as always with any Google product, Google is always looking for feedback and they always want to make sure their product is the best that it can be at that time. So if you have any suggestions or, or feedback, uh, after you use this tool for a little bit, feel free to let them know and they will most certainly will take your feedback and, uh, and use that moving forward. So again, uh, this will only work for teachers that have determined that they want uh, the guardian summary emails to be activated. So even though your son or daughter may be enrolled in multiple Google Classrooms um, or um, that does not necessarily mean that you will actually have access to all of those, only the ones that the teachers turn on. We hope this is helpful uh, and we hope that this um, new process of an email uh, will actually be helpful for you as well.